Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris. Today we are looking at this app. Yes, Notion. Everyone seems to be talking about it lately. So today I'm going to show you how I use Notion as a product marketer, how I use it to take meeting notes, track my quarterly goals and objectives, um, just track the progress of everything that I'm working on on a regular basis. So with that, let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are, we're at my main dashboard where I do things for work. And um, you can see, I like to keep it pretty simple. I have things broken down into four categories. I've got product marketing, where I've got my current goals, ideas to share with the product team, win-loss research, I've got current projects like my work to-do list, meeting notes, time tracking. I've got a handful of resources that I access on a regular basis. I've got my product launch framework where I use with the marketing team and product team. I've got interview questions, release notes, um, images, all kinds of various things. And then I've got an archive. So let's jump into the first one here. Let's talk about goals. So one of the things about working at a, a SaaS company is everyone's got their quarterly objectives and goals. And so we track those in our own system, but I like to keep track for myself just so I can see over the last six months, three months, you know, however, uh, just how well I'm actually progressing and what progress I'm making on my goals. So if we jump in here and we can see I've got my goals for Q1, two, and three, we haven't hit Q4 yet, but I think it's just nice to just see a real quick overview of what my goals were each quarter, the progress on them, and then any notes about something that I did well, maybe I didn't do well, something that I could improve on in the future. So I make one of these every single year, just so I can jump back and forth and always see how I've progressed over time, whether I'm meeting my goals uh, more so in a certain quarter or a certain year or not. You also see I have a little synced block here that I use across most of my pages to jump between my to-do list and meeting notes and goals. So we're in goals. Let's hop over to my to-do list. So this is where I keep most of my tasks. I really like doing it within a Kanban board. I think it's really easy just to see what's in progress, what's my to-do list, what's in someone else's court that I still need to keep track of, and then what things have I completed for maybe if I need to give a, an update to a manager or an executive team member or something like that. This is the best way for me to keep track of them. So obviously it's pretty simple and easy to add one. So let's say we are working on a um, drip cadence on a specific feature. I'll just go ahead and add that there. I can do my project notes template. You'll notice a lot of my notes and templates are actually fairly simple. I don't like to bog it down. I just like the clean look and feel of having a blank slate. And we'll go ahead and add a due date there. So if I've moved something from not started into in progress, that usually means I'm working on it. So I'm writing it, I'm coming up with the go-to marketing strategy, I'm working with video producers or something like that. It's, it's in my court and I need to take action on it. If I have it in design, that means I've passed it off to someone, most likely a graphic designer or a brand designer, in rare cases, maybe a product designer. Then lastly, if it's in review, that means it's probably with a manager or some other stakeholder. So maybe that means I'm gonna get the thumbs up, creating that I get to move ahead, or I'm just awaiting that email from my boss. That's not gonna be so great. So then if it's done, obviously I know that it's something I can cross off my to-do list. Now I'd like to show you where I do meeting notes. I'll jump in here. Obviously it's just a list where I tag it with the date and I give it a tag, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, marketing, sales, enablement, product, you name it. So I'm gonna go in here and create one here. Create, and we'll call this a one-on-one -on -one with Brad. Open it. This is gonna to happen today on September 1st. It's a one-on-one -on -one. and these are my meeting notes. So I'm going to do my meeting notes with Brad. I'll just paste in some notes here from a meeting that I had earlier. So you can see we're talking about the big new feature. It's a P1 in our product launch framework. We know we need a bunch of great material. We need blogs, social media campaigns, a three-step drip cadence. We need press release, updates to the website, you name it, we've got to do it. We've also got a lot of really important people here that we need to keep in the loop. So there's my notes. And I know there's a couple takeaways from this meeting, so I'm gonna add them to my to-do list here. So uh, we've got to draft that three-step step drip cadence. So let's just copy that as a to-do there. 
and I know that I need to make updates to dub dub dub. So I will add both of those there. So this is actually just a link over into my to-do list that I just previously showed you. So if I jump back over to it, now you'll see that my tasks are there and I can move them just like I had said before between in progress and design. It's just a really simple way for me to go from meeting notes with uh, maybe an external partner or someone on my marketing team or product team, or I can just move my own tasks. I really like just the cohesion that it keeps between all of my meetings and my work to do notes. If I go back over to this dashboard here, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I focus on, on tracking my goals. I've got my work to do lists. I've got various time tracking for in given seasons when things are just like really crazy. Um, I will often track some of my time to know how long projects take to report back to managers. Um, I've got things here for our product launch framework. This is the way in which we decide how large uh, a particular launch is going to be. Who's the target audience of that particular messaging? So that's really how I'm using Notion. Meeting notes, quarterly goals and objectives, and for my daily to-do list. I like to keep it pretty simple, but I think Notion is really powerful with the customizability you get with it. So thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for being here. We'll catch you in the next one.